I've got the dresser. It was supposed to be delivered like two weeks ago. Too much damage and it had to be returned to sender. Can I actually still use this? The more I'm looking this over, I'm realizing there's no way I can save this. I have never had a delivery with a box that messed up before. Can you guess what arrived over the weekend? I have a very important update for you, okay? Do we all remember the dresser saga? Because let's be honest, it was only a few days ago. Well, I ended up getting another email from Amazon, but it was from like the seller of this that said like, so sorry for what happened. We put another one out for delivery for you. It's gonna arrive. So I checked my bank account. I was like, okay, did I get a refund? Did I not get a refund? Because at this point, like I should not be getting a refund if they're gonna send me a brand new one. What is going on here? And then this ended up showing up legitimately two days later. Like you just, and I was like, okay, I guess I have a dresser. I guess I didn't need to replace the order. I am still checking my bank account. There has been no refund issued, which is great. My fear was that they were gonna send me a new one and Amazon was gonna like refund me. And I was like, I, like, I wanna like pay for the product that I receive, you know? So yeah, it's here. This is also my recycling pile, something else that I'm going to do once Vlogmas is over. It's just like the non-fun stuff that you guys don't need to see me packaging up all of my recycling. I actually don't have a recycling service at this house. Not that I have a garbage service at this house, so I have to take that to a recycling center. I've been saving all of my recyclables, which is aggressive, but you know, recycle, kids. Let's, uh, hold on. I still have, obviously, this disaster that you guys saw in another video here soon. I still have this right here. So I think, I don't even know what to do with this. I really don't know what to do with this, but I think maybe I just like push this all off to the side. So then this can be my primary workspace for building this new dresser. What do you think? You want to build a dresser? The nice thing is just in case anything is broken in this new dresser, I have got a ton of extra pieces, so hopefully this new dresser came undamaged, but it's like if one of the front drawers is broken again, I know I've got a nice like front drawer here. So, okay, let's try to bring in this box. How am I already out of breath? Like I haven't done anything. This is not an easy task for me to do in my house. definitely a two-person job. Whew. I don't know the best way to open this. This cardboard is just trash. Like, no wonder the other one broke. This cardboard's so thin. Before I tackle taking everything out of here, I just want to look over the instructions and see... For one, what I need, okay, screwdriver and hammer. Hammer with three M's nonetheless, love that. Um, insert wood dowel. There's 66 of them? Poppy, Poppy, Poppy. Are you ready to build? Are you gonna be helpful or are you gonna walk all over everything? Cause I have a feeling you're just gonna like be in my way and you're gonna walk on things, huh? Cause that's just kind of what you do. You just add so much cuteness though. Girlie, can you come over here and sit down? You guys sit down with me. Uh-uh, come over here. No, over here. Good, okay. And sit. And Fancy is now coming too. Sit. Okay, girlfriends. Well, you came over here and you sat, so thank you. But you're not making it very easy for mom to do her job, which is to vlog. Girlfriends, this isn't the shot that I was envisioning. <laughs> power tools should not be used on the assembly of this project. Yeah, that's usually recommended because power tools, like you can go too fast and then you can screw too far, but you know, if you know how to use them, right? You'll be fine. This is what I need. Step one. Those are the sides, I'm guessing. Is that the top? No, that's the, s yeah. Well, let's start tackling this. Shoot, 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 
shoot, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I need to assess this. But the one piece that's broken in the other one too. Like, dang. I might be able to fix it. I better be able to fix it. Thank goodness it's not worse than this, but I'm gonna need wood glue to attach that. This, I just wanna like hammer in these nails to make sure that they're good. But at this point, I don't even think I'm gonna link to this dresser because I am not too happy with the quality of it and I do not wanna give you guys that recommendation. Where are the keys to the garage? Wood glue, ha ha, woo, thank goodness. I have never used wood glue on anything before, but how hard can it be, right? It says to like clamp down, what does it say? For like minimum 30 minutes and then do not stress joints for 24 hours. Sadly, I don't know if I have clamps anywhere. I might use like vice grips or I think I might just put weight down on it, honestly. I don't know like how much to use. Does it tell you on the instruction? Apply a heavy spread. Okay. Okay, uh-uh. <laughs> Is she serious? Who invited you, huh? I need to clamp this now. Put weight down on it for one, but then also, I'm also gonna use just this guy. I feel like this could work really well. It's essentially a clamp. Poppy, no. Uh, <laughs> are you kidding? I'm gonna let this sit and let's build the rest of it. So this piece is this piece, do not fall. So I need this one. I do need these. I need this one. And let's start with that. So all of these wood dowels, if we start, let's start with the two skinny. So it's just the ends. Oh, that's easy. Poppy, I think we're gonna need a hammer. You wanna give me a hammer? You're really not all that helpful. at the part where they want me to put the front on the thing and it's only been about an hour so I feel like I need to give it more time to rest which means I'm gonna build myself some drawers we are gonna skip from step 5 to step 11 it seems fitting what do I gotta do losing daylight in here but all six drawers are built I did not put on the handles because honestly if we take a look at these my thought is do I want to spray paint these black like I don't think they would be very hard to spray paint I just I don't know I just don't think that this coloring is exactly what I want and now that like when I bought it I was like oh that's fine because I thought it just came on the drawer but now that it's not on the drawer I'm like I could spray paint these and I think it would match the room better so I kind of think that's what I'm gonna do let us check on our wood situation how do we think it's going poppy I just don't know like should I leave this 24 hours and then come back to it tomorrow I really wanted to have this dresser built today, but I just don't, I don't know if I trust it. Currently, so I've got like this situation happening here, not the back, that's like nothing. Um, the sides are like prepped and ready, like there's wood down there. So that's all ready. And I, I honestly, I think I'm at the part where it's like, I need that front piece. Cause they say do the front, the sides, and then 
the back. Okay, so this part, did I put those? Yeah. So then that slides in there. And does that just slide? No. Oh, then I gotta drill in? Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, there's no way. I gotta do that tomorrow. I guess. Let's just go back to our old school cavern bullshit. I haven't spray painted anything black here since I moved in. I've painted stuff black, but I have yet to spray paint anything, so. I think this is the best strategy. Sadly, I put them in the spot that is like, it's got the shadow on it. Uh, but this side was leaning compared to like this side is straight up. So anyway, I think this is going to work best. Let's grab some spray paint. So we've got satin, semi-gloss, and gloss. I also have like high heat, but we don't need high heat on this. And I honestly never remember what one has less of a sheen to it. Like gloss, this is obviously, it's, it's, it's glossy. Uh, but what one of these is like more matte. I really don't think it matters. How much is in this? A lot. How much is in that? A lot. Okay, we're going with this one. brought down my phone or something so I put a flashlight on this and sadly I don't think I have a flashlight in here but cut number one that will do it's gonna take a while for that paint to dry which means I can't do a second coat until at least tomorrow which is fine because I can't do the front anyways until at least tomorrow so eh, it is what it is I guess I gotta do computer work now I have the YouTube video for today fully done I just didn't do the thumbnail yet and I really wanted to vlog so I said this will get uploaded later I also can we just acknowledge this is not you well we can acknowledge your cuteness yes because you're super cute this is just all poppy it's every day two times a day I go through and I clean up fluff but you're just a cute puppy do you see her do you see her <laughs> Girlies, are you ready for dinner? Huh? You ready? I'm gonna put on your slippers. Okay, come on. Oh, my battery's charged. Sweet. Good. Uh-uh. Set. Thank you. Okay. I love you. By the way, in case you're like curious why I do certain things with the dogs, the reason I make them both give me a kiss, Fancy actually used to have to sit like Poppy does, but Fancy <laughs> just at one point decided that she didn't want to do it anymore and I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but she still has to give me a kiss before she eats. It was just kind of like a training tactic so that the girls don't immediately go after their food. It's like they have to wait for your permission to eat. So if like Poppy sees Fancy's food, she doesn't immediately go after it, you know? Like she knows that she has to give me a kiss before that she can eat. So I trained both of the girls that way and they're pretty good at it. I mean, Poppy, when she was a puppy puppy, she would try to dart for Fancy's food, but she's learned so much. Like now she's done before Fancy and I know she's just gonna stand right behind Fancy, just like, hey, I'm waiting to lick your bowl once you're done, but she won't bully her out of her food, which is good. So yeah, I'm gonna take my girlies outside, probably put on some pajamas and chill the heck out for the night. Tomorrow's the last day of Vlogmas, oh my gosh. It felt like I was running two full-time jobs. Who thinks we can flip this on our own? Next year is my last year before I turn 30. And that just makes my heart cringe. It's so incredibly random. Who decided about a lamp this size? Very dramatic time in my life. We got this. It's incredibly hard when you work for yourself to take vacations. I'm just kind of like thinking out loud right now. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love it. I get people thinking that I'm dead in a ditch. 